Sahab. Today is, is a campaign lecture of the Daijingu's official video, last lecture of the What is Coming. I hope you enjoyed today's lecture. Thank you very much for watching. The first relation is the one that based on the divine will happens and it is case when the person touches Kami's imagination at once and the divine will be felt in our spirit and it says only about the relation between man and Kami and the above mentioned is described over all things as based of Kami. Because Kami is spirit and divine will is utilized in the spirit and spirit of man and occurs during unconsciousness or when the spirit of man has reached the state of divine spirit. Next, it is secondary relation. The theorem is a divine virtue that is utilized through what has already become tangible and man receives the power of kami through Mitama ancestors. And the Mitama is accepted taking the form of life. This is the main system and as a collateral system. It accepts Shinto virtue through other things such as food, clothing, and housing including sunlight, air, water, and land necessarily for daily life. Because man has a body and a spirit, the virtue is active on this. No matter how a person worships Kami and receives the light of his creativity, the body must obey the laws of matter, so it is not possible to survive the body by eating and drinking, contacting sunlight and air. But on the other hand, because he has mitama in it and has a spirit in it, when he encounters kami, the creativity of the primarily kami is remarkably active. So what may be called a miracle, which some extent overcomes the biological laws of the body. Because the divine spirit is directly utilized in the spirit of man, wisdom, courage, and pure emotions are born again by receiving the light of the divine spirit, especially when the light object of the divine will be accepted to the person's strong believer, man's mitama ability strengthened mental power becomes vigorous, the psychological action becomes active and it influences other people's mental power and other living things and the object on the object is influenced and the change is caused to it. It is all on the ability of Kami of Mitama to happen. Kami is indeed the main source of existence and activity 
not only of man, but also of the universe, and all that has been expressed in the future. And it is indeed a religion to honor the divine virtue of Kami and to teach this. Man was the one that the spirit was given from Kami, and it was born in this world by each different Mikoto in the other Mitama, and it is this Mitama when impurity occurs in the body, which is the consciousness of Mitama, and in the body, which is tangible expression of mitama, the activity become unsolvedic and misfortune is born because it affects the fate of that person. Therefore, it is necessary for the mitama of man to receive the morality mitama, the kami of the origin, to fix this modulation which occurs in the spirit and body fate. In other words, if mitama is fused and integrated into the original kami mitama, the impurity can be blessed and returned to the original purified spirit and active in mitama's body. This is the man's faith and faith in kami and the difference between slow speed and large and small arises in receiving divine virtue according to the shallowness of faith. The activity of the requiem training is a dojo where faith and the act of faith are performed by the method which fulfills mitama to the nature and the theorem of mikoto for the person who becomes the leader and the main person who becomes an important leader and it becomes the reason. Thank you very much for watching lecture campaign of the What is Kami from lecture one through five. I appreciate it that the, you continue to watch these videos. And next project is going to be a Lighthouse worship of Shinto ceremony of Kami. This is also another important issue of the Shinto. So please continue to watch the Daijingu official video YouTube. Thank you very much.